this video, we have some multi-step addition and subtraction problems. These are challenging because there's more than two calculations involved in solving each problem. 33 people get on the bus at the first bus stop. At the second stop, 25 more people get on. At the third stop, 17 people get off and 12 more get on. How many people are now on the bus? We need to break this down into the separate calculations. So let's start by looking at which numbers we're working with. There are 33 people getting on at the first stop, 25 more get on at the next, 17 people then get off, but 12 more get on. So with the first part of this question, we have 33 people getting on the bus and then 25 more. That tells us that we're adding that part of the question. The next part of the question, at the third stop, 17 people get off. That's telling us that there's going to be fewer. So that part is a subtraction. But then 12 more get on. And that's telling us that that part will be an addition. If we write out the calculation in the order it's in the question, we have 33, add 25, take away 17, add 12. You may remember from earlier videos that when we're adding and subtracting, it doesn't matter which order you do them in. For this kind of question, it's easier to put all the same operations together. So we're going to put all the additions at the beginning. So that's 33, add 25, add 12, then take away 17. It's easier for us then to keep track of what we're doing. I'm going to start with the addition and using the column method. 33, add 25, add 12. 3 and 5 is 8, add 2 is 10, so we put the 0 in there and carry the 1. 3 and 2 is 5, add 1 is 6, add the 1 we carried, that's 70. We've dealt with the first part of the question, which is all the additions. Now we need to deal with the subtraction. 70 people take away the 17 that got off. 0 take away 7 we can't do, so we take one from the tens column. That becomes 6 tens. Now we have 10 take away 7, which is 3, 6 take away 1, which is 5. And we've dealt with that part of the question as well. So now we have the answer to our question. There are 53 people now on the bus. And here's one for you to try. 25 people get on the bus at the first stop. At the second stop, 29 more people get on. At the third stop, 13 people get off and 16 more get on. How many people are now on the bus? Don't forget to use the rucksack acronym to help you answer everything in the question. Pause the video, have a go. Reading through the question, looking at the numbers, we have 25 people get on, 29 more get on, 13 get off, 16 more get on. Let's look at what calculations we need to do with those numbers. 25 people get on the bus and then 29 more people get on. So that part of the question is an addition. The next part, 13 people get off. So here we're going to be subtracting. Then the next bit, 16 more, get on. So that's another addition. The calculation in the order it comes in the question is 25, add 29, take away 13, add 16. We're going to put the additions together. 25, add 29, add 16. And then we're going to take away 13. Using the column method to solve the addition, 25 add 29 add 16. 
5 and 9 is 14, add 6 is 20. Put the 0 in there and we carry the two tens. In the tens column we have 2, 4, 5, add the 2 we carried, that's 7. There were 70 people. We cross out all the additions that we did and we're left with minus 13. 70 take away 13. We can't do 0 take away 3, so we take 1 from the 7 tens and make that 6 tens. Now we have 10 take away 3, which is 7, 6 take away 1, which is 5. Just check that we've done everything to answer the question, and we have 57 people on the bus.